Hey guys, this is Guido from Guido and today I'm gonna show you how to make a bouncy ball animation. So, let's go! Hey guys, here are the editor. Okay, we have our logo. Let's um, say for this, we're gonna use a shape like a circle. Um, perfect. But if you want to add like your exact logo, it should be in PNG file and it should be on a single layer okay so we have our logo and what we're gonna make is um let's change the color orangey okay this um ball is gonna come from the top okay it's gonna bounce and it's gonna align perfectly with the other letters so we can use the grid for that just to make sure um you see yeah I could, it could also go from the side, but for this video, we're gonna make it from the top. Okay. Let's. Okay. Last keyframe. That's where the ball should be. Let's start working with our keyframe. We know that at least we're gonna need two, okay? So, the last one, we're gonna leave it there, just there. We can. Go from general to to the particular one, okay? We're gonna select the first keyframe and let's go up. So with the letter, uh, um, with the keyboard, press Shift and arrow key. We need to make sure that it's selected, okay? And we can also move it with our mouse, holding the um, Control key, and it will keep it on the axis. On the Y axis. Now, if I press the spacebar, we will see how these two keyframes work. Okay, the ball is falling down. Now, let's add other keyframes. Okay, so we know also that if we put our keyframes together, the animation is going to go faster. So we just like test test it out and see if we're happy with the result. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna copy the last keyframe with right click and paste it just close to it. Okay. This is gonna be exactly the same as the last one, but I'm just gonna load it down a little bit. Like it goes a little bit over. And then I'm gonna flatten it to make it a little bit more real, like a you know, like a tennis ball. The balls when when you make them bounce, um, they flatten. Okay, so this is gonna make it look a little more real. So you see, it's um, it's making it bounce. So I need to make this go over the top a little bit as well, okay? So I'm gonna make another keyframe. So if I make it at, at the end, it's gonna copy the last one. And I'm gonna grab this one, one from the middle. And the middle one, I'm gonna make the ball bounce. So the same that we did, but um, opposite, okay, to the top. See how this little bit up. And if I'm convinced with the movement there. So now we just like adjusted tiny bits little by little till you find it perfect for your animation. I just can play with the distances and with the arrow keys as well. Let's see how it looks. Right. I think that I would like if it doesn't flatten that much when it comes from the air, from the top. It actually does the opposite, okay? So if I press the shift key, I can make it more natural narrow it down 
Of course, you can adjust it as much as you want, but I'm quite happy with this effect. So this is the basic tutorial how to make this effect. So if I see a tennis ball, the visual would be like this. It's more like a cartoon, right? I'm quite happy with the result. I can have another bounce, like a little, little tiny bounce. If I want to do that, we choose to add more keyframes. Okay, so. Lower it down a bit. Perfect. And I'm gonna make another one. We're gonna do what we did last time. One more keyframe, same as the last one. We copy the last one. And this one is gonna be just a tiny bit less than the first effect, okay? Another keyframe to go up. So we just did the same, but a little bit less effect, okay? It's a deceleration effect, like a physics. Nice. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. I think we covered this. We just add more keyframes, okay? So. Lower it down a bit. Perfect. And I'm gonna make another one. We're gonna do what we did the last time. One more keyframe, same as the last one. We copy the last one. And this one is gonna be just a tiny bit less than the first effect, okay? Another keyframe to go up. So we just did the same, but a little bit less effect, okay? It's a deceleration effect, like a physics. Nice. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. Pretty much. The, so the ball just drops and decelerates till it goes to zero. So I hope this works for you guys. That was it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'll see you on the next tutorial.